In Dade County, Georgia today, a highway was dedicated to the late Sheriff Philip Street, who served in that office for 20 years. He died last November from complications of COVID-19. The intersection of State Route 299 and Highway 11 is now called the Sheriff Philip Street Memorial Highway, and our Mary Frances Hoots joins us live with more. Mary Frances. Well, David, this intersection played a very crucial role in Sheriff Street's life. He grew up not too far away, and it served as a usual spot for checkpoints and roadblocks during his career. When you drive through State Route 299 and Highway 11 in Dade County, you'll see a new sign. Jordan and I have joked about the fact that we don't know how many uh, Roadblocks were done here, but this is the, one of the most appropriate places for Philip to have been named after Philip. Monday, legislators officially dedicated the intersection to the beloved sheriff. We honor Philip Street by making this the memorial intersection of Sheriff Philip Street. State Senator Jeff Mullis spoke highly of Street and compared his ways to the TV sheriff played by Andy Griffith. Not a hard nosed guy, but able to give people a, a chance when they need one. When Street took office in 1984, the Sheriff's Department didn't have much. He started a lot of what is there today. Built the jail from what was just a tiny little building to the jail that it is now and developed the, helped develop the 911 system, like a little SWAT team here. Street's department received national recognition for Operation Sandstorm, which resulted in the arrest and conviction of drug and smuggling traffickers from Texas to Georgia. His impact extends beyond Dade County and beyond law enforcement. Family and friends say he was an overall good person. His daughter, Jordan Powell, says his life goal was to serve, and he did just that. 100% into everything he did, and he loved people and loved to help people out. The world is a little lost without him, for sure. Street served, served as sheriff in Dade County from 1984 to 2004. He also had a variety of other roles in the area in law enforcement, emergency services, and business. He died at 66 years old. David.